Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 22nd, 2019. So hey, everyone, I hope you had a great weekend, ready to get back to it. Right now in the market, we just have a lot of uncertainty. There is um, uh, an uncertainty about earnings that's actually very palpable right now, trying to figure out what are we going to do and how are these earnings going to roll out and we we saw that confusion after Microsoft reported a really strong earnings report but was not able to hold that on Friday just popped up and and sold right back off so a lot of angst right now in the market and we're trying to figure out what to do here now one thing that we did leave behind yes on Friday <clears throat> was lots of bearish engulfing candles candles that certainly should give us a little bit of pause but we also want to focus in on the fact that it really didn't change anything if we take a look at this trend that i'm drawing here kind of ignoring this this bump down here this trend is still holding here in the diamonds and even though we have that bearish engulfing candle that bearish engulfing candle really only means something if we follow through with downside movement today. And right now, we're not seeing that. As a matter of fact, Dow futures are pointing to a positive open, at least at the moment, trying to lift back up here slightly by about 50 points. Now, as earnings roll out, that could certainly change. We could certainly see that change. And just because we open positive doesn't necessarily mean that we can't find some sellers pushing it down but let's keep an eye on this is if we can hold these price support levels in here hold the trend i think we're still going to be okay in this chart there is reason for concern but there isn't reason for really running for cover or just assuming that um, the the bears are taking over and we should be converting all of our trades to short trades so be a little bit careful here now i think there is reason for those of you who trade options maybe to consider some out of the money bear call spreads for a hedge or maybe some vxx calls to hedge or something along those lines those are certainly um very viable here as we try to figure out our direction um around these earnings reports just kind of keep in mind that this is likely to remain very very choppy and challenging price action as we move forward let's take a look at the spy spy similar but a little bit more danger this is obviously an ugly ugly pattern here a pattern that i call an oreo cookie where we have a, a down move and up move a down move and so we have that oreo cookie type pattern here but let's also keep in mind that so far we're holding on to trend and we're holding above some key support levels in the in the chart so um is it bearish yes is that a reason for concern yes should we be running for the doors in panic probably not because this morning we are looking at the s p 500 looking to open up open open higher and if that is the case if we're going to push up in this market then uh, that bearish engulfing candle really means nothing if we can push back up so kind of keep that in mind we have a lot of things circulating around here that are certainly um of concern there's no doubt about it but i don't think we should be um in full-on panic mode here just yet as the market is just trying to come to grips with what these earnings reports are going to mean what they're going to do and we have a big round of them this week let's take a look at the queues <clears throat> now the queues has the biggest concern of the three major indexes in my opinion and that is because we ended up sliding back down and closing before below our breakout high here so a little bit of trouble here in the queues but remember it this big bullish and or bearish engulfing candle requires a follow-through and if this were to pop up this morning and right now futures are showing a little bit of a lift here this morning in the Nasdaq then that really shows a hold of that support where we could move on higher from there so kind of keep that in mind we, we haven't broken this down yet and although there is reason for concern we haven't lost 
the upside here just yet. So watch that close. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM is a completely different story in my opinion. IWM really hasn't performed all year long, and we can see IWM uh, continuing its downtrend here, not looking uh, very good overall. And right now we have this wedge pattern that we formed in here, and what I see right now is um, pretty clearly uh, the potential of a failure of this pattern where we've uh, dropped down through our uptrend, trying to rally back, unable to do it. There's that Oreo cookie pattern again. And the possibility of failing <clears throat> a rather significant level of price support. So let's watch that closely. IWM could be a concern if we really start moving lower here. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX also indicating just a little bit of concern here, but nothing of any major consequence just yet. Holding in this downtrend here on the VIX, holding price support in here, um, and we have resistance right above. So we have some price resistance right in here, right above in this chart. And if we are going to experience some fear or the chance that the market really sells off, I really think we need to break above that. And right now, I don't see any indi any indication that we're um, in imminent danger of breaking through to that upside. Now, one more thing. It's one thing to break through. It's another thing to prove that we can hold up here. And if that were to occur, if we were to break through and hold that downtrend, hold this price support in here, that's where the real trouble could start for the market. Right now, that's not there yet, but there is reason for just a little bit of caution in the market, a little bit of concern. So let's keep our eyes on this if the VIX really starts to increase breaking these levels. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is a four-week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we've been bouncing around here just below the 50 area here. And that selling on Friday just kind of held us down here. We didn't really extend that downside move, which you would expect that um, uh, that heavy selling that we saw on Friday into the close, that this would have extended and it really didn't. So let's watch this pretty closely. All T2122 is telling us right now is that we have sufficient room for a downside move and we have plenty of room for an upside room as uh, a move as well. So kind of keep that in mind. This can really go either direction. Um, there's no clear indicators here on T2122 at the morning. At this, at this morning, just kind of lounging around in that 50 50% area, not giving us uh, very good clues. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot on it to uh, move us around. As a matter of fact, I would say there's nothing here on today's calendar that we would have to really worry about in moving us um, around. So it's really going to be all about earnings today. And those earnings are coming in this morning pretty fast and furious. We have about 70 companies reporting um, this morning and a good deal of those companies do have the potential of maybe moving the market around just a little bit. So um, we'll want to kind of keep an eye on those. Now some of these obviously will be reporting this afternoon so keep that in mind but the real push in earnings begins starts to begin tomorrow and throughout the rest of the week. We have about 800 companies reporting earnings and three quarters of the FANG stocks will report this week. So with some of those big techs rolling out, often those those reports are after the bell. So we can expect the possibility of big overnight reversals and possibly large overnight gaps. So we'll have to kind of keep that in mind as we plan forward. It's really, really tough to hold a whole bunch of long positions or short positions um, we catch one of those reports um, after the bell and then we get that reversal or that big overnight gap can really um, make this very, very challenging as we move forward. So consider that as you plan your risk uh, forward this week. We have a lot of earnings data to chew through and, and how the market responds to that is um, anybody's guess. It's going to be anybody's guess for sure. So keep that in mind.
So with that, everyone, <clears throat> hey, I want to wish you all a great day. And I want to wish you great profits. I apologize for the little congestion here this morning. It wasn't a problem until I started to talk. Um, <clears throat> let's <clears throat> take, give me a second here. If you would do me a favor and click, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube and make sure you click that bell icon, that little bell icon that pops up when you click that subscribe so you can be notified every time <clears throat> one of these videos um, is posted. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to predict direction of the market. It is the idea that we take a look at the technicals of the chart, take a look at the factors affecting the market today, and determine how we want to approach the market in a business-like manner. We want to cut out all that emotion. We want to cut out all that speculation that costs us a lot of capital, a lot of profits when we do that, and just focus in on the key factors and how we should be looking at this market for the day. That is the purpose of these videos. It's not intended to, to give you any grandiose or hype, hyped up uh, idea that I can predict, predict the direction of the market. And I don't want anyone thinking that I can. My purpose here is to give you some really good quality tools to be able to settle yourself and how you want to focus for the market day. And I can tell you doing this kind of work for the last 15 years um, as a full-time trader has served me very well in, in helping me avoid the emotional responses that that we all are subject to, uh, particularly around earnings and news events where we get, we want to be able to predict. But let's keep in mind, there's just way too many factors for us to be able to do that. We can look at the internals of the stock. We can look at the internals of the market. We can look at how the market is acting and we can, um, um, come out of there with a level head as to how we approach the market for today. And that is the purpose of these videos. <clears throat> if you find these helpful, please do me a favor. Feel free to share these with any friends or family. Post them on Facebook, post them on Twitter. Thank you so much for everyone who clicks those thumbs up buttons and leaves a comment. You guys are the best. You're helping the channel grow. And I thank you very much for each one of you who takes the time to do that. It means the world to me. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. Now remember, every time I post a potential stock or show a potential stock here, it's not intended to be um, a, a buy-sell signal or anything like that. As a matter of fact, these are meant for your review. Um, charts that are showing up and showing good signs. So please keep in mind, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security at all. Let's take a look at um, Y-E-T-I, Yeti. <clears throat> this is a beautiful looking pattern. Yeti, beautiful trend. Breaking through some price resistance here, holding it as support, seeing buyers stepping up here. This is all day long a really good chart pattern. And I think the possibility <clears throat> that Yeti moves higher here and attacks these all-time highs in the chart are pretty high. So keep an eye on that. Very nice price pattern, one that I want to be paying attention to here overall. Let's take a look at Roku. Now Roku, I've been keeping a pretty close eye on, and Roku um, pulling back on Friday. Whoops, I need to fix that there. Um, Roku pulling back on Friday, definitely uh, a little disturbing in that bearish engulfing candle. But let's kind of keep in, in, in perspective that we are holding its support and we are holding trend. So if we can get some bullish price action to push us back up through there here, I have an alert setting right here on the chart. If that were to push back up through there, that may be an opportunity to enter a trade. Very much like this, where we push around back and forth in this really tight consolidating zone, and then we finally pop through, and that sets up that upside move. And it's very similar to this one right here as well. See how we bounced around in here, and then finally had those bearish candles, but still ultimately ultimately resolved itself to the upside. So that's what I'm watching for here. I can't tell you if that's going to happen, only that I'm going to be watching for it. 
And if that alert occurs, there may be an opportunity here in that trade. Let's take a look at um, a chart like General Motors. Now, General Motors is a little bit different in, in this chart. This is a chart that's trying to break or reverse a major downtrend. You can see we have a downtrend in play and this uptrend that is starting to dominate. And the reason I say that is because we broke through the downtrend and we are currently holding it as price support. Let's keep an eye on this. There may be an opportunity here in General Motors if we can continue to hold this price level in here and start seeing those opportunities to move higher. Now, keep in mind, earnings season, we have to always stay focused on when those earnings are coming. That will certainly affect how we look at these, how we trade these. But nice pattern here could be setting up in General Motors and one to watch. I've been mentioning KAR for several days here in the morning market prep. And you can see KAR continuing in this trend. Here's that nice little consolidating zone again. All we need is a little bit of love <clears throat> to maybe pop this one through and move us higher in, in KAR, just like we've done all the way through this chart pattern. So watch that closely. It should be on your list. There's no buy signal here yet, but something we should be paying attention to. How about BBY? BBY is that beautiful little trend. Um, first alerted um, a week ago right in here when I let everyone know about this uh, same pattern. There's that nice little consolidation over the trend. When we pop on through, find those buyers and push us up higher. So we ran right into this price resistance here, broke through, pulled back, and now we're showing a morning star pattern very, very close to our trend here. That possibility that we could push on through this level certainly is a, uh, a valid thing to be paying attention to. And if we break through into these upper areas up here, we've got lots of upside room that we can move. So keep that in mind. That bullish trend is certainly in effect there. How about Cisco? Now Cisco <clears throat> has a little concern after the trading on Friday. This was my alert on Thursday um, to um, members of RWO in that trade. So we had um, struggled around this resistance level for a significant period of time. We finally break through, we proved to hold it as support. And now we have this little this trend to consider in this chart. So if we bounce around in here a few more days, um, I think we're still okay as long as we hold on to this price support. And if we get some bullish um, earnings reports or something along those lines, I would look for Cisco to maybe turn around and start moving itself back up. So watch that there. Of course, if we fail through this price support, all bets are off. Um, we have more uh, more problems to consider in that situation. So something to keep in mind on that chart. Let's take a look at a couple different kinds of charts that could be setting up here. Um, one being mosaic. A mosaic is setting itself up in what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. And that rounded bottom breakout pattern is when the stock has been way oversold. And notice that 50 day moving average moving down is starting to flatten out and turn. And our shorter term averages have moved up through the 50. So we popped through here originally. We're not able to hold that as support dropping right back down. But now we have recovered and we're holding a level of support here in the chart and buyers have stepped up in this trade. So you can see where I was alerting on this chart, popping through here on Friday, set up that alert. And we're looking overall pretty good here. Now, I think our trend, we have to change our trend to look like this, because this would be our higher low proof if that is the case. So um, we have to just kind of watch this chart. That round and bottom breakout is um, typically a pretty good pattern um, in this chart, <coughs> excuse me, for charts and uh, very highly profitable for, um, uh, for me has just been one of those great patterns that I get to trade over and over. And we have a very good chart here possibly setting up for that kind of trade. Um, take a look at FDX. FDX is another one of those in that rounded bottom breakout pattern, breaking above that 50 day moving average, holding it as support, 
This one is not quite as clean and clear. Notice that our 50 day moving average is still moving down. It hasn't really started to turn and lift right in here. So a little bit more rest or consolidation in here might be in order for FDX, but that is certainly a pattern I want to keep an eye on. And hopefully it'll clean itself up a little bit from this really wild choppiness in here. Clean itself up if it starts holding some price supports and showing some improvement in the chart. Um, last but not least, how about Shaq? Shaq is showing us really good signs, moving up in a trend, nice little resting consolidation over here toward the, um, the upside trend. And I wanna be watching this. You can see where my price alert is. I wanna be watching this for that possibility of this popping on through. So a few charts for you to consider today. And, um, Hopefully you um, found something here that you can put on your watch list and pay attention to um, and see how these patterns play out. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. And please, just a quick reminder to click that thumbs up button and to leave a comment. Even the briefest of comments, just a smiley face, um, helps those alg algorithms show these videos to more people. Thank you very much to those who take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Everyone take care. I wish you great success today. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one.